So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and today's video is the last in my fall decorating series. Today we are decorating the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of our home, and I cannot wait to bring it into the season. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So let's take a look at what the space looks like through the spring and summer. The colors that I usually decorate with in this season are creams, green, and natural wood pieces. I try to keep things very light during these months in preparation for the fall and winter when I do go all out with my home decor. My kitchen is on the smaller side, so anything that I do here, I have to be very careful about overpowering this space. Now fall is my absolute favorite favorite season and I do tend to go a little bit overboard, but I think this season especially welcomes a little enthusiastic decorating. I thought we would get started today with a small china cabinet that I have across from my kitchen table. Believe it or not, I got this cabinet on Amazon a couple years ago, and it is one of the best things that I have ever purchased from Amazon. Inside the cabinet, I have a large portion of my Ray Dunn collection that I use you know, for display, and I also use as serving pieces every day. The top of the cabinet is a great space to decorate for the seasons and for the holidays. The kitchen is going to have a mixture of Halloween and fall decor, and you may remember these orange and black placemats that I used in my dining room. These bright colors will be a perfect backdrop for all the other things that we are going to build on top. I really do love tiered trays, and I think that the fall and winter season is the best time to have a few trays around the house. This galvanized one, I think I picked up at Home Goods or Marshalls, and it pretty much lives on the top of my cabinet, and I just switch out the decor, you know, by the season. I like to keep a little bit of shredded paper in the bottom of it to help camouflage a little bit some of the risers that I use to prop up some of the pieces that I display inside. So if you remember with my very first fall video, I shared with you that incredibly adorable jack-o'-lantern art piece that I have in my front hall. It was from a company called The Paper House Print Shop. So they were so kind enough to send me a promo code for all of you to save 10%, and I'm gonna leave that down in the description box below for you. They also sent me this equally adorable ghost print that I'm going to be using here in the kitchen. I just purchased a regular frame off of Amazon, and I think that it's going to look so great in this spot. One of the things that I like the most about tiered trays is that it's a place to gather all those little decor pieces that you come across in your daily life, either at a craft store, a fall festival, a shop you don't normally go into. These are the kinds of things that I like to gather together in my trays. I think tiered trays are really awesome too. If you don't have a lot of space, like I don't have a lot of countertops in my kitchen. So a tiered tray is a great spot to condense decor decorations to not only keep them a little bit more low profile, but to free up as much space as possible. To this tray, I have added a bunch of things that I have, you know, collected along the way. I have a couple signs that I found on Etsy. I have a couple pieces from my Fall Ray Dunn collection. That little shoe there was from my recent trip to the best antique shop in Indiana. 
I also like to add little felt ball garlands to these types of displays because I think they add a lot of color to them and it's a way to add a little bit of flow to your display. I like when things can overflow from the top tier to the tiers down below and I think especially during the holiday months it's fun to add a little bit of string lights to your trays. You can find these almost anywhere. They're mostly always battery operated and they add just a little bit of twin to your decor which looks so pretty at night. I have talked before about using seasonal ribbon in your decorating to bring in the colors of the season. It truly is so budget friendly and has such a big impact. This black, orange, and white polka dot ribbon you have seen throughout my decorating in my home this year and it's the perfect topper to this candy corn canister. A few Halloween decorations really do add a lot of color to your home and having this adorable ghost backdrop, even though it may be kind of hard to see it with the glare from the windows, just makes me so happy. I want to add a little bit of color to the inside of the cabinet, so I'm going to add this Hocus Pocus and Basic Witch Ray Dunn mug along with the Ray Dunn Pumpkin Love Covered Candle. The little wooden boo sign I got years ago at the Target Dollar Spot. Now, I really do love the Dollar Spot in the fall, but I'm not so sure about this year. They have gone really heavy with the pinks and the purples for the fall, which are nice, but I am so into those traditional fall colors. I'm really hoping that they get a few more traditional items in before the end of the season. If I had to pick a favorite Halloween decoration, these witches boots would be in the top five. I found these years ago on eBay and I think that they look just perfect hanging here on the cabinet. Moving on to the kitchen table, we're going to be using the same table runner that I found last year. I found it at Hobby Lobby and I think that it is still available. For the centerpiece, I always like to use the same Lazy Susan that I found at Target like years ago. And I do love the floral arrangement that we did a couple months back and I want to add some fall picks to it so that we can use it throughout the season. I'm just going to add some fall leaves and a couple white pumpkins which will match the dishes that we are going to use here on the table. I like to keep the Lazy Susan open because you know this is something that we use every night at dinner. So it holds our pumpkin salt and pepper shakers, a container of napkins. I'm also going to add a big bow to the arrangement here to add a little bit more color to the centerpiece. Again, this ribbon has some white pumpkins on it which also will go perfectly with the dishes that we're gonna be using in the place settings. For the place settings, I'm going to be using these round seagrass placemats. I really like the natural texture of these and I use them quite often. I will also be using this ivory colored charger plate that I got from Hobby Lobby. I like that it is very neutral, yet they have that nail head trim around the edges that poke out beneath the plate. You may remember this checked plate that I recently shared in a fall haul. I found these at Michael's and I knew as soon as I saw them that I would be using them for my fall table. I so love these pumpkin plates that I found at Hobby Lobby this year. I really like that the pumpkin is very neutral in color and I was able to match the ribbon and the white pumpkins in the floral arrangement back to it. 
The napkins I also found at Hobby Lobby. Of course, they match the table runner, and I love these napkin rings. They are a metal pumpkin with small wooden beads. I have since bought enough of these for my Thanksgiving table this year. Although it is a full tablescape, I do think that it is very simple and will carry me through all the way through September, October, and into November. We are going to move on to the tier trays on each side of my stove. As you can see in this old video clip from the winter time, I like to change them up for each season. I found these trays at Marshall's and I like the natural element of the wood and the metal. I think that they go really well with my kitchen. I have everything set up here on my island and I pulled some of the things that I think I want to add to these trays. I have some of my most favorite things gathered here. I have my trick or treat canister. I have the heart bowl full of antique buttons that I use all year long. And yes, I also have my favorite marshmallow cups. Another thing that I really love about tiered trays is that you can layer your decor and bring in all kind of different colors to coordinate. It must be because I grew up in the 80s and layering was a big deal back in the day. I love this white pumpkin that I found at Hobby Lobby and that sweet Ray Dunn butter dish. I'm going to bring back some of that polka dot ribbon to add a little bit of color to it and just tie a quick bow. And how can we miss my marshmallow cup with the fall stocking cap? I get asked about these all the time. I'm going to leave a link to them down below for you. You can find them on Amazon. And believe it or not, there are a bunch of Etsy shops that create hats for these little mugs for every season, every holiday. I know it's the silliest thing ever, but I absolutely love using them. On the bottom tier, I am adding this Autumn Leaves and Pumpkin Please barn sign that I found at the Target dollar spot last year. This was only $3 and I think it was such a great bargain. Next, I have my Ray Dunn salt and pepper bowls that I'm just going to add a little orange pumpkin to the top. I always love simple DIYs and this little house shape DIY I did a couple years ago just using scrapbook paper and Mod Podge. It adds a lot of color to wherever I put it and then I am just going to add a sweet little felt ghost that I found at Home Goods. So I'm going to add this raised wooden tray that I found at Hobby Lobby. I really like trays like this because it helps to lift things, you know, up off your counter so you can clean underneath it without having to move everything around. I'm adding another one of those metal pumpkin men from my Halloween collection. And then I am also adding this adorable cat and pumpkin print that I found at home goods along with a little floral bundle tied together with another bow from that polka dot ribbon. The next tray is going to be going on the other side of my stove and on this one I'm going to be adding my trick or treat canister. I have a couple of these little pickup trucks that were so popular a couple years ago. Found them again at the Target dollar spot. Next I want to add another one of my little marshmallow cups. This one I'm going to be using a riser that I also found at the Target dollar spot. And this little marshmallow cup is going to be wearing this adorable pumpkin hat. Now down below I'm going to add another little DIY set. This one says pumpkin spice along with this salt and pepper set from Ray Dunn. 
I always like to include my heart-shaped bowl full of antique buttons, and it's just one of my favorite display pieces. And then finally, I'm going to add another one of those adorable felt ghosts that I found at Home Goods. We are going to do one more little project here and then I'm going to be sharing with you the best recipe for pumpkin spice muffins. This little cloche is going to be getting a fall update. First, I'm going to be adding another set of pumpkin dishes from my collection. These I picked up at Target a couple years ago. I'm also going to be adding one of the cloth napkins that I always have here, but this time I'm going to be adding a bow around it using more of that polka dot Halloween inspired ribbon. I'm going to add back this little wooden candle and then we have just enough space for a Sherpa pumpkin with a little floral pick. Very carefully, I'm going to add the lid over top of it all and then we're going to place it next to the sink. I have a few more things that I want to decorate here in the kitchen and a few touches here and there throughout the house that you will be seeing in my fall home tour video that will be up a little bit further into the season. Decorating kind of makes me hungry and I can't wait to share with you this simple and delicious recipe. So this recipe is for pumpkin chocolate chip spice muffins and it is so good and you only need three ingredients. What you're going to need for this recipe is a box spice cake mix. Any brand will do. Duncan Hines just happens to be my personal favorite. You will also be needing a small can of pumpkin puree and you will be needing a half a cup of chocolate chips with a few extra to sprinkle on top. In a large bowl, add your cake mix and can of pumpkin puree. I like to start to mix it by hand because it is very thick and it'll take a little bit of time to incorporate the cake mix into the puree. And then towards the end, I will just use my hand mixer to make sure that everything is blended really well. Then you're going to fold in your half a cup of chocolate chips, mix well, and then add to your prepared muffin pan. You don't have to use the cupcake liners. You can just spray your pan with nonstick cooking spray. I just find that the liners are so much easier. This recipe will generously fill 12 muffins. Before you put it in the oven, sprinkle each muffin with a few mini chocolate chips. You want to bake it in a 350 degree oven for between 20 and 25 minutes. I cannot tell you how delicious these muffins are. These are like my go-to quick muffins to make when we have a holiday breakfast. They're so easy to put together. They bake up really quickly and they are so good. This is a great recipe to make with your kids, not many ingredients, and they can pretty much mix it up themselves. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this Fall Decorate With Me series. It has been so fun for me to put these videos together for you. There is so much to celebrate this season and I have many fun videos planned for fall. Please join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything new. Be sure to check the description box down below for any links and the recipe that I shared in today's video. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.